Hi crafters, are you looking for a quick and easy card? We have a faux stepper card that you are going to love. So let's get crafting. And today we are going to create two faux stepper cards. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is take a piece of cardstock and we are going to cut it at four and a fourth by 11. So grab your trimmer, let's turn it on the short side and let's go ahead and cut this at four and a fourth. Now I wanna remind you over on our website, creativemomentsbyg.com, you will see under my blog, all the measurements and the supplies for recreating this beautiful faux stepper card. So we're gonna go ahead and keep our trimmer down because we need to make some score lines on this long piece. So let's go ahead and turn it long ways and let's score at one inch, two inches, six and a half inches. So if you're working with a stamping up trimmer, you're gonna have to extend your arm because we're scoring at six and a half. Now we're going to go ahead and take this extra piece and this time it needs to be eight and a half. So we're just going to put it at eight and a half. I'm going to cut it and then at three. Now we're going to turn it and just give it a good score at three inches. So we have our score line right there. We're just going to bend it over. We're going to get our bone folder, give it a good crease. We're gonna bring in our card and we are going to take this top score line and fold it back and then fold up on this score line and down. Now we need to crease all these score lines really well with our bone folder. Now, can you see this faux stepper taking place? Let me show you what's going to happen. You're going to take this card and add it to the back. And look at this. We're going to line that up, adhere it, and now we have a faux stepper card. It stands up just like this. Isn't that pretty? You have plenty of room to write right here. We're gonna go ahead and add a piece of cardstock. Now we need to cut that at four by four and a fourth. So let's see if we have that. We have four, and then we're going to do four and a fourth. Okay, and this is for the inside, our sentiment. Now, we're going to go ahead and use our glue to get that laid down. Just like this. Now, on this area, we want a coordinating piece of patterned paper. Look at this. Look how cute that is. And that needs to be also four by four and a fourth. So let's go ahead and get that cut. Four by four and a fourth. And you will see why I selected this paper. Kind of looks kind of like a jungle somehow. <laughs> so let's go ahead and lay that down. Now, let me show you the stamp sets that we're going to use. We're bringing in Hooray for Surprises for this sentiment, Make-A-Wish, and hope your birthday is wonderful. And for the main course on our card, we are bringing in our Jungle Pals again. 
Now, this is so great because it cuts out for you with these dies and it stamps some beautiful Jungle Pals. Let's look at that. Now, I went ahead and I stamped my images. So we're just going to color those using some blends. Now, I have Granny Apple Green and Dark Olive, Old Olive. So I'm gonna use this brush nib and I'm just going over the entire little critter right here. Now let's do a little bit of shading. Now, because this is an alcohol marker, we're gonna come back in with the lighter one and just go over the edge just to blend it a little better. And it will actually lighten that up and look more like shading. And once again, because these are alcohol markers, we're gonna come in with the lighter color and just blend that a little bit better. Now, in this stamp set, you also have this beautiful tree right here. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that out. Let's get our critters cut out and our tree. Okay. Here's our critters that we have. Here's our tree. We cut out some additional leaves to add to our card and some cute little flowers. Okay, so let's start putting this card together. One of the things you need is a decorative panel right here. And this panel is cut two and three fourths by five and a fourth. And look at this, we decided to put those beautiful ferns on it. Aren't those gorgeous? So let's go ahead and just lay this down on our smaller card. Now this is a 3D embossing folder, so you need to make sure and get enough glue everywhere. Just gonna put this right on the top. Get it centered. Let's go ahead and cut a little strip for this front panel right here. And that is going to be three fourths by four. So let's, that'll just add some more dimension and a little bit more interest. So it needs to be three fourths by four. So let's add that down. If you are looking for a quick card that is so pretty, this is one you will want to use for all your occasions. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is slip that right behind and just line it up because we're going to put the glue right there and hold it down. So let's go ahead and bring in some glue. 
You could use a tape runner if you wanted. You don't have to use glue. We're just going to get that lined up. Make sure you have the same distance on either side right here. And we're just going to hold it. Now I'm going to set it up and make sure that that taps so that it's straight. So I'm just going to hold that for just a second. Until it adheres really well. Okay. Now, this is really important. You want to make sure that this is stuck down to the front. Now, turn this over, and you want to make sure that you don't buckle your card because that can happen. And now we're just going to put our glue right here. Fold it over and hold it. And now look at that. Isn't that perfect? It sets up on their desk and looks like a keepsake. Or it will after we finish putting on our little critters. So let's go ahead and fold that down. Now we have this tree right here that we're going to add to the front panel. It's a little long, so we're just going to cut it off right at the top. Now you can set this up on dimensionals or you can set it down. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and set it up on dimensionals. Take the backing off. Just add this right to the front of the card. Now, we know that our alligator is going to go right here on the bottom, and he's going to be hiding maybe behind a few little leaves right there. Look at that. How cute is that? So I'm going to just lay him down. So let's add some adhesive to the back. And now I'm going to set this up just like that. I'm going to put some glue on this side, but I'm going to add a dimensional over here. Okay, and we might put a mini dimensional right here. Now, remember to stay with us because I have two more cards to show you and we're going to make one more card. We like to make two cards because it just shows you all the possibilities that you can use with this design. And you don't have to have this stamp set. You can use whatever stamp set you have. Look at how cute that is though. <laughs> so cute. Now we need to have our little sloth. He's going to be hanging somewhere. And then we stamped and cut out our birthday message. Look at that. So that needs to be somewhere maybe about right there. We just need to decide where we're going to add our little bird. And look at that. Look how cute he is. So I'm going to put a dimensional on his beak to set him up. And then we'll see where we need to add our glue. Just right there, just a tad bit. Oh, look at that. So we can still stand it up so pretty. We just need to add our slot. Oh. And now we're just going to add a few little flowers just right here maybe. Just to give it some additional color. Look at that. We just need to stamp our sentiment on the inside. So I'm just going to open this, get our sentiment, which is make a wish. We're going to add it with some Knight of Navy. And I think I want to add a few little gems. Look at these pretty gems. I just have a stash of gems that I keep to add some bling 
And I found these and I thought, how perfect. Okay, what do you think about this card? Isn't this cute? What I like about it is, look how easy it is. It's a faux stepper card. It doesn't have all those cuts and creases that you have to make. This is just two little cards put together, stands up perfectly. Loving this card. Now for the next card that we're going to make, very easy faux stepper. Let me bring in my little tray. One of the things I used on my sentiment is this Nouveau Jewel Drops. It dries translucent and I just love it. We are going to use this stamp set, Sweetest Cherries. Look at this, has some beautiful cherries. I've already stamped the cherries. So the first thing you want to do is grab your cardstock that you're going to cut into your base card. And we know that it is four and a fourth by 11 and we have to make some score lines. So we're going to extend our arm once again. We're going to turn it long way, score at one, score again at two, and then six and one half. We already have our smaller card cut and scored at three. So let's go ahead and fold our faux stepper card. Now we have the main part right up here that has the long score line and we know that is folded back. So we're gonna bring in our bone folder, give it a good crease. And these little steps down here, we're folding up, giving it a good crease, and then folding down. Now, remember, we want to cover this area right here in something that really complements your design. And so look at what we did. We used our die that cuts out these cute little circles, these cute little dots, and we are adding that right there. So let's just go ahead and add some glue. Get that laid down. And we also cut us a little piece for this area right here. Okay, the next thing we want to do is prepare our smaller card. So we are just folding this over, giving it a good crease. And remember, we want something right here unless you really need it to pop. Let me show you this tip. I took our sentiments, sweet and friend, and I went ahead and I stamped sweet in red. Now, if, remember, if you can't get a good dark stamp, go ahead and use a stamping tool to help you get that dark stamp. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just add this. Now, typically what you do when you have lots of sentiments is you stamp them separately, right? But I decided to do this one just a little differently. I went ahead and picked up the friends in Night of Navy and I stamped right over the sweet. So look at this. I just placed it right there and held it. Look how cute that looks. And then I just cut it out. Let me show you what it looks like when it's cut out. Look at this. Isn't that cute? Now, you can see that I went over with those Nouveau drops. See how shiny they look? It really adds to the beauty of that word sweet. And because we have 
the cherries already stamped and the leaves and I want that to really pop so I'm going to just put this on some dimensionals and I'm just going to get this laid. I want this oh kind of slanted just a little bit and now I'm going to bring in my cherries. We're going to add some leaves. And now remember how this goes on. What we need to do is lock this in right here. But before we do that, I think we need to add just a little more interest to this card. So I'm going to go around and just add a little bit of shading with our red. And here's another tip. When you're going to do some blending, some shading, go ahead and add the color to your acrylic block. And then you can tap, 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 and you don't get as much on there. Now what you can do is you can actually stamp some more cherries. So let's go ahead and do that just to make it pop just a little more. Now we want to add our leaves and our stem. So I'm going to take this post-it note and I'm going to use it as a mat so that I can stamp over it. So let's go ahead and get our leaves right here. Just go in just a little bit. I'm going to do just a little bit over here. Look at that. It put it right behind the cherry. Now I'm going to um, bring in our early espresso just to do the stem. Okay, and we are ready to add this to the front of our card. Let's go ahead and center our glue. So we're just going to put it right here on the center. We have our little flap to the back. We're adding this right on the front. Get it lined up, making sure the same distance is on both sides and just hold it for a second. Now we're going to flip it over and we're going to add our glue right here. And hold it. Look at that. Stands up perfectly, sweet friend. You have plenty of room to write your message. Do you think we need to add a little bling? I think we do. Okay, so of the two cards that we made today, take a moment and leave a comment. We love to know we are getting ready for a cherry festival in June, so this would be perfect to invite our friend to join us. This is, oh my goodness, anybody who loves little critters, absolutely, I love this one. But let us know in the comments. We love to read your comments. Are you ready for our other cards that I said I would show you? Look at this adorable card. We used complementary patterned paper. See this? But then I ran it through an embossing folder. Can you see those hearts embossed into the patterned paper? Look at that. I cut out the heart that matched this embossed area and I added it to the front. Look at that one. Just in time for Valentine's. 
you have plenty of room to write your message and you are going to love this little guy <laughs> look at our cute little cow <laughs> look at those flowers are those not adorable look at our little cow we put his head on a wobble too cute plenty of room to write your message let us know take another moment let us know which is your favorite well thank you so much for spending your time with us today we appreciate you if you were inspired take a moment give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Monty and I want you to go out and have a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.